Not even the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner was immune to the changes brought on by the pandemic. That's right, but we're kicking your Thanksgiving off with a positive note. Today, instead of serving 25,000 meals at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center, 10,000 dinners were delivered to be reheated later. As Jesse De Goyado tells us that it was no small task, but as you'll see, the tradition lives on. Okay, we're doing a meal. We're just putting them out here, okay? So if you would do... This side, this way, and then uh, BJ do this side that way. Given that it does this almost daily, Meals on Wheels organized the routes for some 250 volunteers to deliver individual meals prepared by even more volunteers. My grandfather said we come into this world with nothing and we'll leave this world with nothing. It's what we do in between the counts. It took a mammoth effort by 40 organizations and churches for the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner to pivot from this. A crowded ballroom filled with festivities and food. We'll see. <laughs> to this, doorstep deliveries of 10,000 meals that began Wednesday, contact free, that included Thanksgiving cards from the school children who made them. You'd be amazed by what happens when people come together for the right reasons. You're welcome. People like Noelle Jensen, who enjoy it. Especially during this time when um, we need so much joy and love. Um, the more I can do, the, the more I want to do it. The pandemic may have changed the way it's done and reduced the number of meals it serves, but it didn't stop the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving Day dinner. My grandfather started this 41 years ago. Uh, his motto was, let's do one more. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.